G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Alright, Tuesday sort of morning here in Australia, market has uh, taken some downside, not exactly unexpected, but you know, we're still holding above that $2 trillion mark, but yeah, again, the market's just all over the place, it really is hard to read at the moment, but it's not just the crypto markets, it's all markets, so we need to keep that in mind. So holding above $2 trillion, which is nice, but down 3.2%. Bitcoin dominance holding around that 38% level at the moment. A little bit of volume there, so obviously, you know, uh, some money coming in, which is nice. Bitcoin price, it's still around 42000 so it's not exactly bad, but it's not great either. And gas prices are slowly starting to come down. All right, considering the market's down 3.2%, has anything done well? All right, there you go. ADA continues to have a bit of a surge. Surge, I should say, Litecoin making a bit of move, but again, we just need to be careful that, you know, as I said the other day, the trend is your friend, and we're in a downtrend at the moment. It goes up a little bit, but then it goes down, then it goes up, and it's like a set of steps going down at the moment, and we'll have a look at that shortly. BitTorrent made a bit of a move, so look, a couple of moves there, but not really a whole lot, other than ADA, which looks pretty nice, uh, and again, I'll never offer you financial advice, but it might be... Uh, time to take some profits on that if you bought early again I'm not telling you what to do I'm just saying if you kind of bought in early yeah maybe things are you know again they pump up a little bit and then come down we'll just have to wait and see but look a couple of gains what about losses though this is probably where we're going to get a big better tail spell token got knocked around near token Luna coming down loop ring coming down cello phantom Adam, I mean, these are all near double digit. Some are double digit, and then other ones are near double digit sort of gains. Kadena, Gala continues to go down. Uh, I, am, I still like Gala, but I am glad that I sold uh, out of that for a loss because I'd really be down right now. I bought that at like 78 cents or something. Unfortunately, I literally bought right at the high. I was thinking, you know, the market was going to keep going, uh, and it just didn't, unfortunately. So that really hurt. But look, a lot of losses right across the board so this is where it starts to hurt and again why i've said that i'm not really making any big moves at the moment because this is what we see things can look bullish for a couple of days and there'll be certain coins that are doing well but then it all just generally rolls over and the bitcoin chart really shows us exactly where we are breakout fake out we've fallen back down and we're now sitting right underneath this now does this mean this can't hold and that we can't break and travel sideways for you know maybe months if we're truly in a bear market and this is maybe the bottom we've had a near sort of 50 percent retracement not quite but big enough then maybe this is the new bear market i don't know that's something that we need to keep in mind for me i'm not panic selling I'm simply holding, I'm an investor, I hold long term. If this is a bear market, then I will just continue to chip away at things and I will wait for some kind of indication. Again, like if we travel sideways till February, sort of March, something like that, then I'd say there's a good chance that this is sort of the bottom of the bear market. Not to say we can't have one final capitulation sort of low, there always is things like that. But I'll just keep dollar cost averaging into the projects that I like, ladies and gentlemen. But as long as this keeps happening and we keep going down, I'm going to be very cautious and really just holding on to my money, waiting for a change to see an obvious bottoming pattern where things start to sort of travel sideways or some kind of uptrend. But even then, I'm just going to be very cautious at the moment. And the reasons are because all the other markets still look shaky. Look at the S&P 500, it's rolled over. Yeah, we've had a little bit of a bump here, which is nice, but it's just on a downwards trend at the moment. The Dow Jones is on a downwards trend at the moment. The gold and silver sector is on a downwards trend at the moment. Ethereum, uh, yep, sorry, that is Ethereum, is on a downwards trend at the moment. The total crypto market cap is on a downwards trend at the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, the trend is your friend trade or you know if you're trading or invest with the trend and if it's just on a downwards market uh, for investors and again never financial advice just my personal opinion is just gently chip away at things you know if you're dollar cost averaging and let's say you've only got ten dollars a week to invest and you're in a downwards trending market put two dollars fifty of that in per week 
and the other $7.50, simply just hold until you see some kind of bottoming formation. Or you can, you know, if you want to be slightly more aggressive, then put in $5 per week and hold the other, do other $5. Again, I'm never going to offer you financial advice and tell you what to do. You've got to make your own decisions. But for me, I already built good bags. I've already taken some, you know, reasonable profits as always. And like most people, I wish I had a taken more profits, but it's really hard to read the markets. And that old saying, time in the market will beat timing the market. It's really hard to time the market. If we're in a bear market, then none of us knew. I still don't think we're in a bear market, but I am ready to accept that I could be wrong. And we've been in a bear market since, you know, the market cat got up to three trillion definitely possible and i don't know how much lower we could be going but because of that i'm just not making any crazy moves i still believe in crypto i believe in it long term i believe again in you know sort of 10 years time by the t time 2030 comes around the good projects that are here to stay and last they're going to do extremely well unfortunately not all of them are and i can't even guarantee that all of the ones that i've invested in will be around in that time because i've learned the lesson from 2017 that projects sort of come and go and even though they might not be completely dead unfortunately they just don't have the stamina to last through bear markets but are we in a bear market are we not in a bear market you know is these kind of dips are they the new bear market so is this now the new bear market where they're much shorter cycles before they start to pump again? I don't know. Unfortunately, time is going to be the teller of that story. We don't have, you know, hindsight, they say, you know, it, it's great, but it's unfortunate that it comes uh, way later. You know, it's easy to look back and go, of course, that's what was going on. But the time, it's not that easy to pick. I don't think too many people picked this happening and I don't think too many people picked this happening. Some people would have, and congratulations to them. I wish I was as intelligent as you and, you know, was able to pick it. But I know long term that if I simply buy and hold good assets, particularly for me, Bitcoin, I'm going to do all right. But the volatility is going to be really harsh and will tell you and will teach you some really good lessons on the way down. And then hopefully you can, you know, appreciate the ups a whole lot more. It's easy to appreciate the ups it's a lot harder to appreciate the downs. But the big gains are made when things are down. They're not made when you're buying into all-time highs. That's just the truth, ladies and gentlemen. But it hurts to buy here, and it ends up all the way down here. That really hurts. But when it starts to you know, go three, four, five X times higher than when you bought, and you've bought all the way down, then the, exp the gains become exponential, but it still hurts buying here. And technically, that's not the best place to buy. If it's going all the way down to here, then this is the best place to buy, but no one knows exactly where it's going. All right, so a couple of stories I wanna focus on. We know that all the markets at the moment are looking shaky, and that's just the way it is. There really is no safe haven at the moment. And you know, if you know where the safe haven is, please write in my comments and let me know where's the safe haven at the moment. I'd love to know. All right, but there is some upside to it. 25% of US adults plan to start investing in crypto, a survey says. Now you need to be careful with these kind of surveys though, because it says like 25% of adults. It's really only people who are kind of already interested in crypto that are filling out these surveys. It's generally not people who aren't interested in it, because they would, excuse me, just look at that uh, survey and go, I'm not even filling that out, that's garbage and rubbish. So these survey things, again, you're not, you've got to be careful with this. Like, you know, we saw stuff before. It said, you know, 30% of Australians investing in crypto. Uh, I can tell you right now, 30% of Australians aren't investing in crypto. It's 30% of the people that participated in those kind of surveys uh, and things. Don't get me wrong, the crypto is growing very fast in Australia. I've got a number of friends that have asked me about it, but most of my friends are not investing in crypto, plain and simple. And considering I'm a crypto enthusiast and you know very few of my friends are investing in crypto, that goes to say something. But look, the space is growing and we're gonna get back to something very shortly to show that. All right, for Australian uh, viewers, crypto.com becomes the financial backer of the Australian Football League, so the AFL, and the Australian uh, Football League for women's as well. So this is great news for AFL. And again, this goes to show where crypto is going. It's now starting to back some of the biggest sporting games right across the world. Now, AFL is not really big anywhere other than Australia, 
but it is one of the premier games in Australia and Crypto.com are now backing that. I know they've uh, got Stadium named after them. I think they're in F1 and all sorts of other things and a number of other companies. FTX doing exactly the same. It goes to show you where the space is going. you just got to understand that you know the big money in anything isn't made overnight. It can feel like it's overnight when you see it happening to other people. You're like, what? You put in, you know, seven hundred dollars a year ago and you turned it into ten thousand. That feels like overnight because you've only just heard about it. You weren't there to experience that whole year of the ups and downs and all the rest of it. And that is no different to right now. We may be seeing a full year of downside. It could be more. If we're going into a recession, it literally could be five, ten years of downside. We don't know. But it's not overnight. There's very few people that can literally put money in and within, you know, 24 hours or a week, you know, make stupid amounts of money. That is more luck than anything. Some people get lucky like that, but they are far and few between. You've got to be a little bit more educated than that and understand and look at things on a much longer term basis. But this is great for uh, AFL and particularly the women's as well. I think the, uh, you know, the women's leagues in most leagues around the world, they really need to get a lot more exposure. And I don't know if you've ever watched them. They're pretty good. I mean, I've watched some of the uh, AFL women's league games and they're up there like those women, you know, they go hard and they hit each other hard and kick good goals and take good marks and all sorts of stuff. So I'm a big supporter of it. Uh, and, I love that Crypto.com have got involved in this uh, and it's great for the AFL. Now, again, a little bit more bullish news. Now, I don't want to get you too carried away with thinking that I'm just here to give you bullish news because things are bullish. They're not bullish at the moment. They are bearish at the moment. But there's still things that are bullish. So at some stage, it'll have to change. When that's going to change, I don't know. But i just got to be real with you. I want to give you both sides. The trend is your friend. We're in a downtrend, ladies and gentlemen. But there's still good things happening and that just gives you that glimmer of hope that, all right, well, this space isn't just dead. It's not, you know, basically going to disappear. It's just we're in a downtrend. So on data, on-chain data, sorry, shows number of ETH holders at all-time highs. Now, there's a flip side to this. Generally, when you see this kind of on-chain data is when they're going to start the big players are now going to try and shake everyone out because they want to get you to sell they want to get you to panic and they want to buy your stuff at cheaper prices so the data is good lots of eth holders all-time highs but this is usually and it's like when everyone's in profit uh in bitcoin and things like that you can guarantee once you know too many people are in profit that's when big dumps start to come because the big players they're here long term and they're smart and they'll buy cheap and then when things get really high they'll start to sell and they'll push the price down and the the newbies and things like that they get shaken out and then they sell at cheaper prices and the big players again just buy in at cheaper prices and they keep doing the same they buy and hold mostly and then they will sell you know a reasonable amount to push the prices down if they have those kind of uh, numbers that they can do that but again there's also big players that get together don't think for one minute that there's not groups, again, you know, big, you know, hedge funds and things that'll get together, that are, you know, friends and all the rest of it and do things to push the market down. That 100% does happen and it's a whole lot easier to do it in crypto because it's such a small space. They don't have to put that much money into crypto to really be able to, to affect the price. Something else you need to remember, we're a very, very small market cap, so it's a whole lot more easier to manipulate it. Right, NFT platform OpenSea hits record $3.5 billion in monthly Ethereum volume. So this isn't the highest volume they've had, it's just the highest uh, Ethereum volume uh, monthly that they've had. So it goes to show you that people are looking to buy NFTs on the cheap at the moment. You know, whether they're cheap or not, we'll have to wait and see. But again, this space isn't dead. It's just on a downturn, quiet, and it may last months. It may last, you know, possibly years. Again, if we truly go into a recession, it could be a really, really long time before it starts to make its way back up. But what do we know about crypto if you've been here long enough? Super volatile, so the downswings are going to be really hard to take. But once it starts to make its way back up, 
there's nothing else that moves to the upside like crypto and that's why i'm here ladies and gentlemen all right olympus dow i've spoken a number of times about DeFi projects i really really like DeFi, but there's so many of them out there and they're just there's they're so new they're so risky be very very careful like olympus dow got you know it was so hyped up and everyone was talking about it. it was the newest greatest thing and i'm not saying olympus dow isn't i'm just saying this is some of the things you need to be careful with you know buying into the hype so olympus dow's token tanks 30 percent amid profit taking liquidations but in all fairness a lot of crypto uh, crypto projects are down way more than that but that's just uh in the last little bit so we go down here so om has fallen by 30 percent this morning so that's just today that hurts since new year's day the token is down a total of 65 percent the token has slipped more than 90 percent since its all-time high so that's what i'm talking about the downsides are horrific and i'm not saying olympus dow is no good and it's crap and it's dead and it's a shitty DeFi project i'm just talking about DeFi in general is it is a very new space and for me i like to see projects go through something like this before i really kind of jump in and put too much into it have they been hacked how many times have they been hacked how did they handle the hack have they had their big pump have they had their big sell-off and is that sell-off kind of at a bottom price has it found a flaw other than literally just trending basically to zero being down 90 percent doesn't mean it's dead it's just down 90 percent from its all-time highs a lot of cryptos will do something similar particularly the newer ones bitcoin unlikely to ever go down 90 percent again but it could we won't say that it can't ethereum is the same the projects that have been around and have some history they generally go down less they become more stable as they get older and they're less volatile the newer projects they are super volatile they can go down 90 percent and even nearly 99 percent and again it doesn't mean they're done they just have to be able to you know prove themselves through bear markets that's the true test of whether any project that you're invested in is legit and is going to be around in a while because i can tell you right now the projects a number of projects that were super excuse me super big in 2017 they are dead projects nothing's happening with them right now they are as good as gone now not all of them but they haven't performed anywhere near as well as what they did back in 2017 unfortunately a lot of projects right now are exactly the same how do you know which ones are gonna make it and not make it <laughs> that's you know it, it, again i don't like to consider this like betting but it is you take a bit of a bet you do your research into the teams and the projects and you know all that and then you take a bet you say right yeah, well i've got this much money that i can afford to completely lose i'm going to invest in that project and i'm going to wait and see what happens and if in two three four five years time they're going strong and really well awesome you'll probably have made some amazing gains if they haven't then unfortunately you're probably going to have lost some money if not maybe all your money and that is investing ladies and gentlemen right there now again that's not financial advice but that's how investing works you've got to do some research you then got to put some money on the line and you know wait and see what happens hopefully you've done your research hopefully you've made the right decision but unfortunately you won't get it right all the time now something i want to do just to kind of you know keep everyone's you know just make you understand that look long term think long term in the last year bitcoin is up 15 percent and considering it went all the way up to 69,000, so it's still up 15 percent ethereum is up 160 percent bnb a thousand percent ada still up 366 percent solana is still up 3000 nearly 4000 percent xrp is still up 170 percent from where it was a year ago luna up nearly 10,000 percent dot up 64 percent doge up uh, 1700 percent 
Shiv, good lord. I mean, if you bought a year ago, you are still well and truly in the money. That is absolutely crazy. This is in a year, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of your projects are still up and still up quite nicely. Not all of them. Again, look, Bitcoin Cash getting hammered. Uh, I mean, look at that ICP down 90%. But mana, look at that 2,000%. Uh, Tron, ladies and gentlemen, is still up 130%. A project that you don't hear much from. 10,000% for sand. Ethereum Classic is up 300%, ladies and gentlemen. You know, 4,000% uh, for one harmony. So zoom out. We may have to go through a, a year of really awful prices because this may be the bear market. And unfortunately, some of these projects probably won't be around in a year's time, uh, let alone four years' time. Doge, I mean, look at that, still up 1,700%, considering it was up at 80-something cents. It was super high, and now it's come all the way down. And these projects are still up. So think long term, but also be ready to accept you are wrong. You're gonna get, you're gonna make, you know, choices that were wrong. I've made choices that were wrong. I've invested in stuff that I've had to sell uh, for a loss because it was just basically dead and kind of going nowhere. Uh, and I'll make more of those mistakes. It's really easy to get caught up in this day to day stuff, and again, unfortunately. We may be coming down to here. We may be coming down even further, ladies and gentlemen. But if you're holding long term, that's just a year. All right, let's go customize. Let's go three years and five years. If you're in Bitcoin five years ago, you're up nearly 5,000%. If you're in Bitcoin, five, uh, Ethereum five years ago, you're up 32,000%. 27,000% in BNB. 7,000% in ADA. Now this wasn't around five years ago, so this doesn't exactly work, not all of these. XRP, if you are in five years ago, you're up nearly 12,000%. That's what you need to keep in mind. Just three years ago, you're up thousands of percent and you know a lot of the coins a lot of the coins that have lasted that were around. Now let's see if I can find one. There we go. V chain up one thousand seven hundred percent, which is nice. Tron's still up 185%. Five years ago you're still up three thousand percent, so that's something to keep in mind. I'm trying to find uh, Neo. Because that was a coin, and I don't even think it's in the top one. No, here we go. Neo. Not doing so well over the last year, and that's what I mean, a project that just, you know, has kind of died off. It's not dead, but it's really not doing much at all. So in a year, you're only up 2%. You're not doing too well at all. I was in Neo. I uh, bought it, and I sold it at a profit, but I was doing research on it, and just not a lot was going on, on unfortunately, so I had to get out. Still 206%. And look at that, up nearly 20,000% if you bought it five years ago and still hold it now. You're up 19,000%, let alone where you were if you were lucky enough to sell these peaks. So think long term, ladies and gentlemen. That is all I want to say. It's very, very easy to get caught up in the day to day and it's yeah easy to get you know disheartened and things like that. But even if you're in the stock market, they see downsides. They just don't see them as big, but they also don't see them as big to the upsides. That's what I like about cryptocurrencies. I've been around long enough. I know how to hold through, you know, the downsides, and I know how to accept, you know, when, when I've made some mistakes that I've got some losers, some chains that are just dead and aren't going to live up to what I thought they were going to do, and I just accept the losses. My losses don't even come close to the gains that I've made. Don't, and don't get me wrong, I've had some big losses. I've put, you know, a few thousand dollars into coins before and had to just cut them right off. And a few thousand dollars is a lot of money for me, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I don't have tens, hundreds of thousands of dollars to just kind of throw around on projects. So when I put a few thousand dollars into projects, that was a lot of money for me. And I just had to cut my losses and accept that I was wrong. It was really hard to do, 
but the gains that I've made on the good projects have more than made up for it. All right, that's it from me, ladies and gentlemen. Stay safe, be kind to one another. Pretty hard to be on that gain train at the moment, and considering markets across the board, I am still worried that we're going down lower. I would love to be wrong, and I'll be more than happy to be wrong. I'm just not sure I am. Till next time, I'm out.